Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is video 8 in the series of videos about how I've set up my Wacom tablet properties. Now in this particular video I'm going to do things a little differently. We're setting up the radial menu and it's rather time consuming. It's not that it's real hard but it's time consuming to really set it up. So I went ahead and set it up prior to the video. Part of the reason for this is that I needed to make short custom shortcuts in order to put a lot of the stuff in. But let's just generally talk about the radial menu first. All right, so we, we click on the radial menu tab. I want to make sure that I'm still in Painter because this is for Painter. And what you have over here on the right side is you have top. And that means this is the very first layer that you will see when you uh, call up the radial menu. If it has a little triangle here, that means that this item will open up as well. So you have, you, you, originally you would have had eight slices that you could add uh, commands to. What I did is I took three of those and made them submenus and then added more inside of there. So if I take this, if I click on this one, uh, the one that's called copy functions, and I come down here and I select menu, and then I can label the menu here. Then if I come over to the right end and click on, uh, I'm sorry, on the left side, I say right all the time on this, but on the left side and click on copy function, then I have eight more um, items that will, uh, spaces that will open up that I can um, add commands to. I can also take any one of these and make another submenu and have eight more commands. I mean, you can go tons for these. Okay, so let's go back to the top and let's look at the the things that I set up just as um, without having uh, going into a submenu. The first one I did was free transform, and you would do that with a keystroke, and it would be control alt plus T, free transform. Now, I, I don't want to go over the shortcuts for all of these because you can find the shortcuts. Like if you go up to um, edit, free transform, these numbers or these words out beside uh, these uh, keystrokes out beside uh, the names here. These are the shortcuts that are set up. Um, and if it doesn't have a shortcut beside it, then of course there's no way you have to you have to then go and create a shortcut if you want to use it in your uh, radial menu. Okay, so <clears throat> I've set up free transform. I set up fade and. I did that because I forget about fade. A lot of times I will do something like equalize and I need to do a fade command after and I forget about it. And if I put it here, it'll help me remember to, to use it. I also have the fill command. I have apply surface texture and I have equalize. All of these would be keystrokes. Uh, and I would add the keystroke. So for a applied surface texture, the keystroke is control slash. And that's, that's obviously, uh, uh, pretty sure that's a, uh, a custom keystroke of mine. Okay. Now this other part up here, when you click on one of these and you assign it sub menu, you can name it. Okay, so this is copy functions. That tells me everything under here has to do with copy. So I click here and I see cut, copy, paste, and paste a new image. Okay, now those are the ones that I've done so far. The only one I don't have here is um, one that it, that I would like, and it's copy merge. But for some reason, Control Alt C will not work um, in in the Wacom tablet. So if I click the here and go keystroke, 
and then I go control alt C nothing happens so I don't know what the deal is on that but um, I can't get it to to come in okay so if I come over here now and I s click on the next sub menu well, let's go back to top the next sub menu is selections and I click on selections now I've added select all select none invert selection reselect float stroke selection feather and show hide marquee these are all things with selections that I use fairly regularly go back up to top and I have one more sub menu and that's called channels so I click on channels and I have new channel new from new from color range and invert channel these are the ones that I would use uh, most frequently now when you're doing this what I had to do was sort of think my way through it but this is I think of this as a living document so if I start working and I find out that I really need something frequently that I've, I had forgotten about I'll revisit this and say okay maybe I can let go of fade and I'll put in something else whatever it happens to be but that's the way I have set this up to work okay now let's just try a couple of them okay all right so we're gonna close the Wacom uh, tablet now and if you remember since I have the touch set up uh, not enhanced inside of painter I can use the three finger to call up my radial um, menu so three finger tap calls it up copy functions cut copy paste and so forth okay so that's it for now bye bye